and welcome back as you can see here uh, from the last time we uh, kind of got things set up a little better laid out things hidden and tucked away um, you can see here so I have a chest up overhead that has a bunch of our ores that I've went through and uh, gathered up some more and I have a pump there that, or a redstone engine that pumps them out brings it down and the trouble with these pipes on this system is if things get backed up it will pop out and if you're not standing around and it pops out it will despawn after just a little bit like five minutes so what I've done is I just kind of have a loop so that when it comes down and it's backed up can't get in it will just cycle on around and just pump it right back into the chest piece of iron going back in see popped it back up and that'll just go on until it goes through so got that pumping then we have our copper which we're running through right now it goes in and go into our smelter um, I've made an overclocker and I'll show you how to make them later on but I, I put it in the end one first because I don't have any kind of overflow system on this one so that way I just want to make sure nothing gets backed up here and but then it goes from there on into our chest but if you were here last time remember I had all this hooked to a generator well I went through and made some solar power panels and some of the um, windmills although I still have my generator right here just for trusty backup and uh, I've also made a couple other things I made this extractor which is uh, right now I'm just using it for rubber. You can just it yields more rubber. Plus you can put the tree log, the tree from a rubber wood tree in, and it'll get rubber from it. So early on, trying to get rubber, it's very useful. It, uh, it's used for some other stuff later on. I'll have to research that. But yeah, I've I put in solar panels up on the roof, and I'll show you that here in just a few minutes. And some windmills, and it's come through, and it's piped down through the wall right here. Uh, right here's the battery box you can see our power level is staying steady it, it's staying full 40,000 uh, but I'm not running a whole lot right now I mean I'm just running the two machines and because these redstones they don't they don't use any power they're self-propelled but real low energy but they make they're good for pumps good for what they do and uh, I've actually chained I've got three more of these up on the roof and the idea is now each one of these just hold 40,000 so I've made more at four total so I've got actually 160,000 uh, stored up um, you know again it's that's still low in comparison to what can be upgraded to but it's uh, for early on it's works fine I've also made this uh, alloy furnace which is actually part of a different power system it's the uh, red out or the yeah red powered and uh and all it is it's uh i'll show you real quick red power you, uh you make bricks you put bricks which i don't have any here but anyway you make bricks you put them all in your square and the individual bricks make the large bricks and the large bricks are then uh just like a rake like the furnace just uh eight around the, in a big circle uh, something like you just go all the way around like that it makes the furnace and uh, the reason I did that was to get that out of the way because I'm making up stuff there's the regular brick but the reason I did that is for the next episode, what I'm going to be doing next time is um, making some more uh, furnace solar a different type of solar power more or less because I actually have the stuff together to make my quarry but before I make my quarry there's the different golden gems and we'll be going through that in a few episodes but uh, the reason I'm going through red power is I like the sorting system it has it's a lot better than that uh, what we have over there. there there's more stuff you put in that but again the trouble I have with that system there is it it will overflow and 
there's way you know it pops out there's ways of picking it up automatically but it starts getting complicated and kind of gaudy so what we're going to do now is I'll show you oh I've also made this the project table what this does is it works like a regular crafting table so you have your nine slots up here but it gives you a storage slot and that is really good for people that's forgetful like me and so what you can do is, well, I'll show you what, what would happen on the old crafting table is you, you put something in, we'll just put carrots, and you realize, oh, I forgot something, Boom, it pops it all out on the ground. What this will do is you can start to make a recipe, you realize you forgot something, it's like, oh, crap. Leave, walk away, come back, everything's still there. Plus a lot of your things you're going to be using commonly it has a storage down here that you can uh, have ready to go so and that's kind of what I've done here I've laid out a lot of things that we're going to be doing now first we're going to be making the solar panel uh, what a solar panel is a generator and all this stuff and the generator is our iron furnace refined iron and a rechargeable battery so I've already made up some rechargeable batteries, and those are done by, um, what was, whoop, I'm an idiot, let's see, I may have showed this last time, but, yeah, 14 ingots, 2 redstone, and some copper insulated wire. Now, I've already forgot what I'm doing, I'm doing a generator, refined iron, so, we need our iron furnace. I'm going to go ahead and make two of these because the windmill uses them as well. Boom, 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 boom. One, two. Two iron furnaces. Now, put that back in. And again, I can look up two circuits. Oh, wait. Still need the generator. The generator is the refine. Can I make? Yeah. I need that. And actually, I need two generators. So yeah, we can go ahead and put everything in here for now. So we need two generators. And the reason we need two is, again, the windmill uses the same thing. Now, we're going to go through, once again, circuits, coal, dust, and glass. And I made my glass, so boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. I did that backwards, didn't I? I'm not smart. There we go. We have our solar panel. Now, for the windmill, real simple. I think I messed up then. I have refined, I think it's regular iron. Yeah, it's regular iron. So, again, I can leave. Don't have to worry about picking everything up. Just need four of these. And... Like such, we have a windmill. Now... And I didn't put that in my inventory, did I? So I got that and that. Now... Um, the other thing you need with the industrial craft uh, items is this wrench. Uh, if you, like normal things, if you just take a pickaxe and sit here and pound on it, it will break it. Uh, and you'll, you'll lose a few of the parts and have to, re, have to make it again. Uh, the wrench allows you to just right click it. And that broke anyway. Son of a bitch. So there, that chance is there. So, not a big deal. I can make that uh, relatively easy. I'll just uh, put this in here for now. And that's a risky take. Now we're going to go outside, and naturally it's getting dark. So, I'll step back here, and you can kind of see what we've made here. It's the windmills up top, and actually I have some solar panels right in here. 
So it was kind of a monstrosity. I, I made it out of scaffolding. Uh, you can see I have some here on the side, and it's a pretty inexpensive. Instead of using dirt, piling up and using to get in the parts you can't reach, um, this you you can just block it down on the bottom like that. And then you can just left click it, and it builds it up. Then when you want to take it down, just boom, and it all falls down. So we're going to run inside and sleep real quick. Recycle things, because we don't want creatures, namely uh, creepers. Ah, burn you bastards. But yeah, we don't want creepers popping up and blowing up things, because it can get quite expensive. So we're going to come over here, climb our scaffold. Oh, and I fell off the roof anyway. Son of a bitch. Okay. So here is what we have right now. Now, I really need to upgrade my cables. Uh, I'm using this copper and this uh, ultra low current something or another. And uh, what I want to upgrade to is the. If I can spell is this right here, the glass fiber cable. But it's a little costly, it cost a diamond for every four pieces. So, I mean, the redstone glass isn't that big a deal, but the diamonds get a little costly. But, kind of show you what I've done, and this isn't the best setup, I just did it just for, uh, just for display purposes. Now the windmill, it needs something, but the solar panels, are, it's not the best setup to do with them, and I'll be doing a better layout to get what I can, but I said I had more batteries up here, so let's reach around the back here, there's one, two, and the third one, and again, each, each one of those store another 40,000 volts, so, and everything's kind of tied in and looped and doing its thing, but I'll be stretching, improving upon that system, I just, it's, I just wanted to lay it out that way, and I didn't bring any cable, so. But you can kind of get the gist of what's went on, how it goes as I fall off the roof. And, uh, yeah, back here I've been kind of busy. I wasn't going to show this off, but since I'm here and I pretty much explained all that, uh, what you can see here is I've been leveling and flattening this out. And this is where I will be putting my quarry. Uh, I won't be doing it all in one swipe, but I'll be doing it in smaller segments. And uh, once I'll be actually doing it kind of underground, going going underneath, because there's quite a few tunnels, and just setting it up underneath there. And it's relatively close to my system. Everything I got right here, so piping will be just be involved, just putting it right straight in. Not not too complicated, keeping it simple for now. And once I do get all this worked out in mind, I will be putting other structures back here. Uh, I went through, the, although this is the Tech at Light, I have went through and I put two two other mods that didn't come with it. Uh, I put in Forestry and uh, Railcraft, and kind of the Railcraft is kind of the my my end goal of what I want to do. I want I want to set up like a train system running around everywhere and because Railcraft is quite costly um, that's I figured it's a, a pretty neat goal and uh, so again yeah I'll be do, like I said next time I'll be doing the red red power stuff and uh, what I will be doing off camera is, on some of the forestry stuff is I'll be setting up a peat bog uh, I've been doing this by hand but what I'll uh, what I'll what the hell oh yeah there's a dungeon underneath here somewhere uh, my little turtles run across it there and I, I still need to go back and loot it uh, but what we uh, like I said I've been doing this by hand to get peat for the peat fired engine that's in the forestry thing uh, forestry mod so 
but I want to set up an automatic system that will be doing this. Unfortunately, when I set up the, go to look up the farms, none of these give me the uh, uh, method how it's made. Remember farm, I mean, none of, and uh, I'm, I'm sure when I put the mod in, I'm something I tried updating the uh, uh, NEI, uh, not enough items, but for whatever the reason, it's not working for me. So it happens, and uh, so I will be doing that off camera just because I'll be popping back and forth, looking looking up the recipes and such. But I also be give a quick display of that. And one other thing, if you notice all these flowers I've been collecting, there is a method to that madness because the sorting system in the red power system, uh, you have to make paint to color the pipes. And I'll be showing why, but you get uh, different dyes and stuff from different items, uh, flowers being the most common. Uh, and there's actually a jungle off over there, so I got cocoa beans, so I'll be on paint and bone meal mixed white paint and I've got a few ink sacks and here's the other dyes I've gotten from flowers. I've already made a paintbrush and I'll be showing that later on. And here's my mass storage of cobble and dirt and gravel. And uh, I'll again, once we get the quarry up and going and get a few things filtering through, um, I'll actually have a use for all this. It's like it's worth nothing, but there's an item made called the recycler that makes uh, some stuff, makes scrap, which can be used later on for some other really good items. So it's not worth much now, but it'll be adding up later on. So there we are. That's it uh, for now. You can see, like I said, I've uh, kind of announced uh, I want to do a to play with the railcraft. That's kind of my end game, and uh, got some flax coming in. That's another good thing. I'm glad I set up was a flax farm, but again, that goes in the because uh, you you need a lot of cotton and flax makes string, and string makes the wool blocks. So I'm gonna stop rambling there because I've just been going on and on and on, and I'll be get off here and be getting a few things ready for the next episode, and. Uh, We'll catch you guys next time. As always, uh, leave a like, favorite, share, do nothing at all, comment, tell me how bad this was, whatever. And uh, have fun. Catch you guys next time.